Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the main event of the evening. It is scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds of professional heavyweight championship boxing. It is for the WBC Eurasia, WBO Oriental, WBO African, WBA PAPA, WBA Oriental heavyweight titles collectively. It is sponsored by Burger King. Your overseeing officials from the WBO Oriental and African is Mr. Danny Lee. The WBA Oceania, WBA PABA is Francisco Martinez. And from the WBC Eurasia is Charlie Lucas. Your judges at ringside are John Conway, Derek Milham, Anaru Harriman. And your referee in charge when the bell rings is Ferlin Marsh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance here at the sold out Trust Arena in Auckland, New Zealand, for everyone watching this broadcast on Sky Television in New Zealand, Fox in Australia, and TV3 in Samoa, in the ESPN family of networks in the United States and around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, would somebody, somewhere, make some noise? Introducing first, making his way to the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Kali Meehan! So Kali gets ready to make his way in, number two ranked in New Zealand heavyweight. He's an aging but world-class fighter. I was with him the night and called a fight when he fought Lehman Brewster and he came well as close as you can come by split decision to winning the world championship at the WBO. He's fought a lot of ranked fighters, including guys like Brewster and Asim Rockman, Ruslan Chagayev. In fact, his only losses, his five losses have been to world-class fighters. As you know, he won the 2014 Super 8 title, knocking out Michael Sprout in the finals. He beat the man next to me, Shane Cameron, by unanimous decision for the vacant WBA Pan-African title in November last year. He spars with his son, told me he doesn't hold back. One of the really good guys, one of the really nice guys, Kelly Meehan. Chip, boss man, I got this, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the champion, Juicy! Everything starts with that jab. Oh, great uppercut by Joseph Parker on the back. Oh, I love this, folks. I love it. I absolutely love it. The nose lining it up for the big shot. Fedeway gets hit.
So here comes Joseph Parker. Big smile when he heard the ring announce that Dan Hennessy uses high chief name from Samoa. Coming into the ring with him besides the Kevin Barry, Brian Barry, and Taylor Barry. There's his uncle Rudy and his uncle Henry from Samoa. Uncle Rudy is his mother's brother, so it's a family affair coming in. This kid turned pro in 2012. Three knockout wins, 2013, four wins. Last year he had five wins. This is his fourth fight this year, three and all. Highly skilled, athletic, very dedicated to training. You forget that he's had only 15 professional fights, but he's still a work in progress, according to Kevin Berry. But he really works hard. He's a big puncher, fast hands, sits down on body shots, moves well. Fourth fight this year, but less than seven rounds of boxing. Last October, a year ago, he went 10 rounds with Sherman Williams in winning every round of that fight. There's the uncles in the Samoan garb and the youngster that Joseph supports. Joseph is ranked number six in the WBO, 13th in the WBA, 18th by box rec, and he's moving up in the world scene. Talk to the people at HBO and Showtime in the United States. They've already talked to Dean Lonigan about wanting him to come to the United States and fight. And Dean and David Higgins and Martin Snidden will decide when they want to do that in conjunction with Kevin Barry, who trains him. This is a big fight and a tough fight for him. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, this is unusual for Joseph because Kelly Meehan is taller, he's heavier, and he has a much longer reach as you see there. Of course, Joseph is younger by 22 years. And now Dan Hennessy is ready to get our main event of the evening underway. Here's the lieutenant, Dan Hennessy. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds of professional heavyweight championship boxing. It is for the WBC Eurasia, WBO Oriental, WBO African, and WBA PABA, as well as the WBA Oceani heavyweight titles collectively. It is sponsored by Burger King. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks. He weighed in at 110.6 kgs. He hails from Auckland, now residing in Wainonga, New South Wales, Australia. He is the former number one ranked contender in the world by the WBO. He has 47 professional fights, 42 wins, five losses, 32 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Kali Meanhead. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. It is a ring wearing black trunks with blue trim. He weighed in at 107 kgs even. He hails from Auckland, New Zealand. He is the current WBO Oriental, WBA PABA, and WBC OPBF heavyweight champion. He is now ranked sixth in the world by the WBO and tenth with the WBA. He is also trained by world-renowned boxing trainer, Kevin Barry. He has 15 professional fights with 15 wins, 13 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing, Lupe Solio Laahuli Joseph Parker! So the ref calls him in. 10 point must scoring system, no standing eight count. There's no three knockdown rule. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight in the case of an accidental foul. We go to the scorecards after four rounds are complete. Protect yourselves at all times. Furman Marsh, a lot of international uh, experience in Japan, China, and around the world. Refereeing fights. All right, we're set to go. Joseph Parker looks uh, pretty relaxed. 
And we'll see if he starts out as fast, Shane. You think he'll go fast right from the get-go? Yeah, this could be an interesting round. The first round is always very interesting, especially with these explosive heavyweights. And if Joseph starts fast, it could, could work, work, work well for him, but at the same time, we just don't know. He could be cool with something, too. All right, here we go. Kelly, of course, the big, tall guy, solid black trunks. Joseph has the black with the blue trim and the fringe on his trunks. Parker to the right of your screen. Kelly Meehan, big tall guy, the tallest guy that Joseph has fought so far. Parker has to be aware of the big jab and the powerful right hand shots that Kelly Meehan can throw. Meehan, a ton of experience and a guy that hasn't abused his body. He's a two real gentleman outside the ring, but I wouldn't want to be in between him tonight. Can't. Parker just using his nice quick jab, just getting his range initially first off. And Sort of a feel out stage for both of them. First minute guys just feeling each other out. Neither one's let the right hand go yet. Joe's backing Kelly off into the corner. Let's see what he can do here. Kelly ties him up. He knows how to tie him up. That's experience. He gets his hands up underneath his arms because he's tall and he can walk him back on his heels. You see Joe, he wants to land that right hand. He's setting up that right hand off that, that quick 1-1. One, one. A quick double jab and he wants to... Try and drop that right in. They'll be trying to work out who's who's the strongest one in there. They want, they want to land their, their heavier shots earlier on so they can work out. Joe Quick on his feet as well, able to step back. A lot of times he comes straight back. He jabs and jabs and jabs. But he's trying to set up that right hand, double jabbing. You see Joe faint uh, quite a bit too. There he goes, he's hard shots upstairs. Okay, break. Break, break the back. It's like Joe might have bumped his uh, his mouth off the uh, shoulder. I, I don't know if he's got a cut on his lip or not. See Carly trying to lead with that, with that left hook, but it's just it's just not quick enough to. Joe's yeah. just got nice footwork where. Oh, he caught him with the right hand that time. Kelly right. felt the power. Joe holds that left hand out, and Kelly bends the head down. And Joe comes back with a left hook, doesn't land the right hand, but he's in him with some body shots. I'll tell you this, Kelly's feeling some power in this round. Kelly tries to come back in his own, but he doesn't have the zip in his punches at Joseph Parkin. Big right hand landed by Joe here in round number one. 37 seconds ago. Well, it started out the first minute feeding each other up, but Joe Parker's in the second gear right now. Left hook crashes to the left side of the skull of Kelly Meehan. Mian knows that he's in with a guy that can bang now. He's trained with his son, who's a big banger. Okay, break, fellas, break, but not back. with this kind of hand speed. On, yeah, he's, he's looking strong in there, Joe. He's certainly looking strong in there. Carly's on his back foot there. He needs to do Ten something to, to keep Joe at, at bay. Otherwise, he's just going to keep pouring shots on like he's doing now. Boy, this is the next of the round one for Joe Parga. He's hit him with some hard shots. And I thought for a second that he staggered me in when they're over here just above us. That's a 10-9 round for Parker. Well, how about that? They were a lot of excitement from the second minute on. From the get-go, for big, two big boys, Joe was just applying so much pressure and pressure. And Carly's heavy breathing in the corner there, so see what the next round, round brings. If it keeps applying the pressure like that, it's going to be hard for Carly to keep up. Uh, you can see uh, he's... You know, you get hit to the body and like, you know, in the solar plexus. Look at, meanwhile, look at over here, Kevin Berry. All right, relax, relax, relax. Trying too hard, it'll, it'll happen. Okay, just, just slow it down. Kevin, tell him to relax a little bit. Nice, nice round. Want you to keep, want you to keep going to the body. Second time for round two. Watch Joseph too, folks, with the double hooks. He'll hook with the left hand down below, then come back upstairs. And he's looking to land that powerful right. He landed it a couple of times, and he had a really good round number one. Remember, this is schedule 412. And the way Parker landed shots in the first round, I'm not expecting it to go 12 now, just after seeing that. But there's a long way to go in the schedule rounds. We'll see. If Kelly wants to go a bit longer, he wants to stay off those ropes, he wants to control the center of the ring. That's a real good point, Shane. This is where he wants to be out here and try to get Parker to back up because he knows that a lot of times Joseph will pull straight out, but I've noticed so far defensively that he's pulling out to angles, which is better. Parker let it go. Kelly's really loose 
hips and the knees and very heavy in the heels. Parker may be able to take him up right now. There's plenty of time. Two minutes. Boy, look at the pressure he put on him. Big right hand again. Just missed that one. Left hook. I'll tell you this, Meehan is out on his feet right now. He tries to get back. Look at how loose he is in the knees, folks. So a knife for Carly at the moment. He needs to do something to keep Joseph off. Uh, he can't hold him off right now. Joseph just lining up that right hand. Just past the shoulders. Didn't quite catch him on the chin. Joe really unleashing his power to this point. I thought he was going to take him out on that far side over there. Just getting more confident as the fight goes on, Joe, as he's, he's landing the shots, he's applying the pressure. Amin is still out on his feet. He's, he's really hasn't got his legs under him very well at all, which means he doesn't have a lot of power right now, and Joseph knows it. There's a hard body shot, too. Didn't look like much, but a real hard body shot. Yeah. Kelly has to hang on. Let's go. Kali Meehan, by far the most experienced guy that Joseph has faced to this point, and Joseph is really up to the test. Really a stiff jab. Kali's still out on his feet right now. He rocks him again. Kali's fighting on instinct, hanging on to those hands. He knows he's in with a buzzsaw now. Look at Kali's front foot, and, and that's what I talk about, fainting and making him jump at shadows. Watch Joe come in, catches him with the left hand again. That speed, Joe's just got that speed. He's so, he's so quick for a big heavyweight. He's two solid left hands, solid right in. Kelly might be ready to go. 18 seconds in the round. Referee might have to step in there, but Kelly knows how to tie him up. Nails him again with 10 seconds. This is all Parker. This is a 10 8 round, even without the knockdown. He just beat him from pillar to post. Kelly's out on his feet. That's a 10 8 round, my friends. Me and out on his feet twice in that round. I think this is a brilliant performance by this guy. Oh, yeah, he certainly, certainly had his tries now, Joseph. He's, he's just steamrolling through these guys now. It's, uh, it's really good to see New Zealand producing a, another great heavyweight. A lot of action here. That's what had happened on the far front. side, Shane, you know? So much shots going in there. Joseph's relentless. And big left talks and right hands. And Carly's hanging in there well. Only you know, showing glimpses in there just to let people know he's still in the fight. Great vision by Joe Parker, though, seeing that big left hand. And he, he just blocks it with his shoulder. Here we go to round three. Question that I ask right now is how much more punishment can Kali Meehan take before he does go down? But Parker certainly lambasted him in the first two rounds. I scored the second round 10-8 because Kelly was out on his feet twice. If he could control the center of the ring, it'd be a lot better for him. As soon as he gets on the ropes, Bob, that's when he's... Seems he's get caught with a lot more shots. But Joseph just gradually backs him off into the ropes. There's the right hand downstairs. Back up with the left hook. The right hand misses. Kali doesn't have the zip in his punches at all. And Joseph's just sitting down and teeing off. He's trying to take him out. Looking very good. He's looking very good. We'll come right back. We'll take a break and we'll be back with the official particulars. What a right hand! Wow! What would it be, lads? I just reckon a brew, bro. A brew, bro? No, a brew, bro. A brew, bro. A yeah, brew. Yeah, a brew. 
A beer. A bear? A beer. A beer. <laughs> I'll have three LMPs, mate. World Cup Weekly, live Monday, Sky Sport 1. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kazakh versus Canuck. As middleweight heavy hitters lace up for a live free for all. Gennady Golovkin versus David Lemieux, live Sunday, 2 p.m. Sky Arena. The FIFA Under 17 World Cup is coming. That is top quality. Live from Chile. The Young All Whites kick off their campaign against France. Tuesday, Sky Sport 3. Well, how about that, folks? Joseph Parker in the third round hit Kelly Meehan with one solid right hand that dropped him, and he couldn't recover. The second round, I thought he scored enough punches to give him a 10 8 round, and Parker. After about a minute into the first round of Kelly, really doesn't know what happened. What'd you think, Shane? Oh, mate, Joseph's looking very good. He's a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight division, without a doubt, after that performance. All right, let's get the official particulars from our ring announcer, Lieutenant Dan Hennessy. Fighters to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, with one minute gone in round number three, your referee, Furlan Marsh, calls a stop to this fight for your winner by TKO, Lupe Solii La Auli, Joseph Parker! So evidently, Stop the fight. I thought it was a pure knockout, but it's academic because he knocked him out. Now they need a moving van to carry all of those uh, belts that he's got going around him. Joseph Parga. Monty, I can't see you in there, but I know that uh, you must be with him, so go ahead and take it, Monty. Joseph, I've got to say, uh, I was sure they're going to come out. You're going to be cautious. You're going to have that sort of approach, but he came out with a sense of confidence, with a real intent to put some hurt on. Was that always the game plan? Um, no thanks for the question, Monty. More, more love and more living off of Taito to my lungy. We are among we are Mafu Songa, Skamu Kali Mian. We have Taisa Amor, Motoko Inga. You know, going into this fight, we knew that Kali Mian was going to come and bring his A game. The plan was to go in there and box. And uh, you know, when I came back after the first round, Kevin said, You're excited. I said, Of course I am. Um, you know, I'm ready for this fight, but then you know, once things started to slow down in the third round, was able to pick the shots and uh, there it came. Joseph, we saw pictures of this new physique come all the way back through Instagram and on Twitter, but the new sense of the man and the beast mode that you bring with it right now, the sense of confidence, where did that come from? It comes from uh, um, uh, a number of things, training in the gym, support crew, um, doing the work, and then coming back and fighting in front of my home crowd. It's amazing to fight in front of my home crowd and I'm, I'm always happy and excited to come home and see my parents and family and everyone here, and I'd like to thank everyone for the great support in coming out tonight. Well, let's talk about your support crew, and in particular the man at the helm leading the crew. Uh, KB, uh, a performance that I didn't think or expect was going to happen in so easily. Look, firstly, I'd like to say thank you very much to Carly Meehan and his team. It was, as you can see, Carly is a warrior. He is a true champion, and uh, I take my hat off to him. It was a tremendous performance, and he's one of, he's one of our great fighters. No doubt about that. I was very pleased with Joe tonight. Um, I think we, we had an opportunity to put a few combinations together against a very aggressive, a very powerful and strong big Carly Meehan. And you know, Carly landed some good shots on Joe that uh, we haven't been getting in recent fights. Now, when you speak about uh, a class act in terms of a pass mark, how much better can Joseph get in 1 to 10? Well, at the moment, he's still in his infancy stage as a professional. He's been a pro now for nearly three years. And he, you know, he's, he's accomplished a lot in three years, but we've got a long way to go. 
Joseph, final word from you to the fans out there who were all on their feet, so happy to see you. The love for you in the room and around the country and around the world really is quite big. Yeah, um, you know, we're, we're doing our thing and we're representing our country. And just a big thank you to, to everyone who came out tonight to support us. Thank you to those who um, you know, tuned in, um, people of you. And thank, uh, let's thank my sponsors for making this happen, the Burger King, Mad Butcher, you know, Under Armour Muscle Farm and Nutrition System. Uh, before we go, I think a word to Carly Mian. Carly, thank you very much for a great career. Uh, but you're winner here and going on to do wonderful things. Joseph Parker! As Carly Meehan walks off into the sunset, I wonder whether that's Carly Meehan's career. Well, it probably is uh, dealt a savage right-hand blow from a man who still doesn't have a nickname in Joseph Parker. But the word that Monty Beatham used quite easily is the man is a beast. And maybe we should start calling him Joseph the Beast Parker because the way he dispatched 45-year-old Carly Meehan. And don't take the age into account here. Uh, Carly Meehan is a seasoned fighter and we thought maybe he would be some showing, but she was. The way Joseph Parker came out tonight here at Trust's Stadium in Auckland uh, is something to behold. And Monty, that was probably the most surprising thing. No fear. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look, he's no longer a boy. You've heard baby Joseph. You've heard the young bull versus the old bull. He's just a bull. He is the absolute beast at the moment. Very excited by the intent I saw from the start, the, the self-confidence to go forward. He had his eye working. We saw a few different defensive uh, strategic moves, which I liked at the same time. But, but the punching power and speed amongst this kid is just very exciting for New Zealand and the world. Yes, so, hey, I was about to say, how much more excited can you get? Who does he, where does he go next? Well, that's it. Well, if you think KB saying it's still in, in its infancy, it's frightening. It's scary. Uh, I likened that performance to another guy, Anthony Joshua, <laughs> uh, without taking away from Joseph and what he does as an individual himself. But those two guys, uh, look at his physique. The change in his physique has been amazing. But just his demeanour, the way in which he had the intent from the start to go out there and deal to a man who is going to be his biggest threat. Joseph Parker remains undefeated in his quiet career. He's now 16-0 and 0 with 14 of those by KO. And yet again, he has stunned the crowd here and crowds around the world of what he has got in store for you as his boxing career continues. On behalf of Monty Beatham, Shane Cameron and Colonel Bob Sheridan, I'm Stephen McIver. Fights are always good fun. Make sure you stay safe. We'll see you next time around.